Welcome to another unboxing. This time it's the Noctua Chromax NAHC3 Chromax Black Swap. This is for the D15 heatsink and it's um, the cover. There's two different types. There's a plain cover and there's one with inlays. So I've gone for the one with inlays. In fact, I think it was a pound cheaper than the other version. So let's see what we get in the box. This is to go with my complete Chromax, I would sort of call it an upgrade. It's more of a, a bit of bling. Sort of bling the PC up. So let's see what we get in this box. So these are the two, oh they're very light, very light. I expect them to have some weight to them, but I guess that's okay because you don't want any weight on the coolers, do you? So it's quite thin, it's metal with a plastic uh, lining. A plastic insert with the Chromax and you get different colours so which don't want to come out for some reason huh. all right let's just take this out under here as well. Oh I see. That's how you get to them. Oh it's magnetic. It's held in by magnets. Okay. It's a pamphlet. There are some retaining clips, and that's not to hold the box together, that's part of the design to hold these covers on. And the box, it would have been nice if it was in a box for storage to be honest because I'd probably keep the other colours, it'd be nice to have had a little flat box like, like um, these things came in, I'd probably use one of them to store these. All right. I'm going for a green look on mine. Let's just get rid of that box. Remove film before use. Oh, I see, okay. It's got a protective film on it. Oh. Double sided. Okay. So how does this fit then? Just just straight flat in, I think. Yep, there we go. Magnetic cover on. And there we go. Now I think there is a black one as well. Yeah, so if you like, you can uh, you can have it not really showing or extra subtle with a with a black. We've got white, white and black, yellow and red, blue and green. Same again here. And there we go. I think this was about twenty-eight pounds. This one. It's quite a lot for two bits of metal just to uh, bling up your. Uh, PC a bit. I, I don't think it has any advantages by covering the uh, fin slightly. So look down here. A little bit dusty, but I think it's okay. Let me just show you what it looks like with a different colour in. So I'm not going to take off the protective uh, film. Oh, it's not quite so easy. There we go to get them out. I'll just show you with a blue. 
There we go. Obviously it'll look a little bit more shiny because I'll take the protective cover off if I ever went there. But right now I'm opting for green. So that's what we get in the box. We get the two covers. We get a choice of colours. And we get these two retaining clips. Not too sure how that works yet. See there's only two as well, so let's have a quick look at the instructions. And a HC3 Chromax Black Swap installation manual. Well, it's not many pages. I see it opens out. So the covers increase the height of the heatsink by 5mm from 160 to 165 and the width by 3mm. Oh my goodness, my graphics card is really close to it. Oh, from 150 to 153mm. Please make sure your case offers sufficient clearance and the covers don't make contact with any of the components such as PCI cards. Yeah. If your CPU cooler is not yet installed, please first install the heatsink and attach the fans to the heatsink as described in the cooler manual. Put the fixtures on top of the heat sinks. Ah, that's how you do it. So you take the, uh, the plastic parts and put them on top first. And then you put the retaining hooks, then you put the retaining clip. So you plop that on top of your cooler. And the retaining clip goes on here. Like so. Ah, that way. So the flat, the flat side goes against this. Uh, it's a little bit of insert of a soft plastic. They're like a slightly rubberized plastic to uh, stop any damage, and it clips on like so. And so it's actually really easy to install these. So these plop straight on, clipped in, and then these just magnetically fix over, which will also be good for cleaning. Because every now and again you have to take the fans out and clean it, even with all the filters that you have on the cases. About once a year, really. I give it a good clean as I will. I've given it a clean now. It's only about six months, but the outer uh, filters on the three fans are looking quite dirty, and the inside glass is looking a bit dirty as well. So that's quite nice to know that it's easy for cleaning. Right, choose two color inlays, remove protective films, and put them in the covers. Slide the covers over the fin stacks until the magnets snap in place. Verify the covers are sitting firmly on the cooler. Just something about the warranty there. Tell us what the included parts are. And that's that. Okay, so next video will be installing the fans and the cooler into the computer. So. Thanks for watching, see you next time.